On the line, Ultimate Fighter alum and current UFC fighter who'll be fighting on Super Bowl Saturday, Ed Short Fuse Herman. Ed, how you doing tonight? Good, man. How are you guys? We're doing great. Uh, I'm going to ask the first question real quick, and it's something I always ask fighters on the show. Um, what got you started in mixed martial arts? Um, you know, I was a fan of the sport when it first came out back in the old school days. Um, and, uh, you know, I just always enjoyed watching it. I started doing a little bit of jujitsu in 2001. Um, and then uh, Team Quest opened up to the public in 2002 in Oregon where I lived. So uh, I then, before I knew it, I was fighting three months later. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm just wondering, how did you end up getting on to the show for Ultimate Fighter? Well, I um, actually went out and applied for season one with, with Chris Liebman and Nate Corey from my gym. Um, and uh, I didn't make it on that first attempt. Um, and then the next season, they did heavyweights, and I applied again. And having some connections with Randy and Team Quest helped me out and stuff. So they brought me out there to apply as a heavyweight. Um, and, uh, you know, Dana came barging in the room during my interview and, you know, like, you're not a heavyweight, what are you crazy, you know, it was pretty interesting conversation and, you know, I told him, oh, whatever, I'll be 220 by the time I get here, you know, I'm ready to go because I just wanted to get on the show really bad, you know. And they was like, he said, uh, you know, we're doing middleweights again next season, so just hang in there and we'll get you on the next season. So next season came around and they, uh, they gave me two options. They said, you can either do the show or just give you a contract to fight the UFC. Uh, I chose the show out because I thought that uh, I would win the show and there's a lot more money to win in the show um, as well as exposure-wise. So that's kind of how I got on the show. Now, was there one uh, particular memory living in the house with all the other fighters that stands out as your favorite? Um, man, I was maybe just uh, kind of starting to go a little crazy being stuck in that house, a little cabin fever, um, you know, I don't know if there's any particular memories, you know, um, but uh, it's kind of a blur now. It's been six years. Now, when you look back, you may the memories in the house may be a blur, but I'm sure the uh, ultimate finale is not because that didn't go quite the way you would have hoped. But I've got to ask, maybe you feel some vindication because even though you didn't end up winning the season, you've had a longer UFC career than Kendall Grove. So what are your thoughts on that? Uh, no, uh, I was bummed to hear they cut cut Kendall. I hope he gets another shot to come back. You know, he's a tough tough guy with a lot of uh, you know abilities. Um, so I, I have a feeling he'll be back soon. You know, uh, maybe we can get a rematch someday. That would be pretty cool. I think they could do a nice UFC special for Fuel TV or Fox based around that. And uh, speaking of which, you know, you're going to be coming up on a card here pretty soon. So, what are your thoughts on uh, fighting on Super Bowl weekend? I'm excited, man. Um, I think it's a good matchup for me. Uh, Clifford Sharks is a little bit of an unknown, but he's a tough athletic guy, and he's going to bring it. You know, this is a big opportunity for him, so, um, you know, I'm not overlooking him at all. I'm training, you know, as hard as I possibly can, getting ready just like I'm getting ready to fight for a world title. Mm -hmm. Well, you might not be too far away from that. You won three out of your last four fights, and you beat some really tough guys like Tim Crater and Kyle Noakes. So uh, would you like to get that title shot in 2012 or just wait till when it comes along? Um, What's your thoughts? I don't thoughts? know if I'll earn it that soon. Uh, you know, I feel like uh, I definitely need to get, you know, a handful more wins and against a few, you know, top-name opponents, so... I doubt I'll get a title shot in 2012. I mean, I would take it if it came, but, you know, more likely probably 2013 is a better goal, I think, for me. All right. Well, uh, let's theorize a little. Let's say that Anderson Silva is still the champion in 2013 and you do get that title shot. How do you think it'll go? What would that fight be like? Uh, you know, it'd be me going in there and, and looking to win the UFC title, man. I mean, there's... That is what dreams are made of right there, you know, and yeah, I visualize that all the time if I have that opportunity. I feel like, uh, you know, I could out-wrestle him. I feel like I could hang with him in the clinch, you know. Uh, he's the champ. I give him all the respect that I'd love a shot at him. 
you've currently got short fuse. Is that something that you got from being on Ultimate Fighter, or is that something that you had even before you came into the house? No, I've had that for a while. You know, I got that nickname a while back. Actually, Chill Sonnen and Chris Levin came up with it. Um, I was I didn't really have a nickname. I was fighting amateur, and they introduced me as Ed Short Fuse Herman one time when I was walking out. They had talked to promoters and got them to kind of you know announce it like that. So uh, you got some, uh, but uh, you know, it just kind of stuck with me. I uh, I uh, still there. Yeah, we're still here. Yeah, okay. Um, I, uh, you know, I've always had a little bit of a temper growing up as a kid and stuff, and uh, I've, I've, you know, kind of overcome it, you know, a lot of, the, like, you know, little stuff. But, uh, you know, I'm a redhead, so I got a little bit of a fuse on me. So you don't mind the nickname, then you actually feel it, it fits pretty well. It fits pretty well, yeah, you know. Now I limit my uh, short fuse incidents to maybe playing video games and typical, uh, Maybe here and there, uh, driving incident, but I try, I try to limit it, you know, as much as I can.